Hi peeps and welcome back to the channel. So just a little introduction because I haven't done that in a while. My name is Dewey. I'm a probation teacher. I'm just coming into my last year, uh, my last month really of the whole year, which is incredible. Um, been so quick. And um, at the moment I teach primary four. So I have been helping um, somebody out, uh, a student out um, who requires some additional support. Um, she has dyscalculia and I've been helping her out and I'm here to talk about the things that have worked and perhaps haven't worked with her. Um, obviously those that require additional support, everybody is different and requires additional support at different times. Um, and with this in particular, it's been very much a trial and error. If I was in the classroom, I'd be using much more concrete um, materials and actually having that tactile, that kinesthetic feel can often help. Um, so we haven't had that. Uh, we've been sort of communicating um, over uh, FaceTime and uh, just, so you know, this is a private person, <laughs> friend of mine, um, just in case people go, oh, teachers FaceTime with your children it's not the case um but we have been communicating over FaceTime and trying to work out something that works for them has been challenging and something that will engage um enliven and and just really bring the the topic to life so in particular she's struggling on um maths uh sorry uh, not maths my times tables so she we were working with times tables for her and we were i was getting her to get items um from her house and um, count them that way but we were still sort of going you know one two three four five six so still adding up the individual numbers um so i was trying to think of different ways and i stumbled um across this and I thought, this is a cool game. I think a lot of people will like it. And a lot of children do like it. They, I've played it with uh, many more children um, in the community hubs. And they are engaged in it and they really enjoyed it. And I'll tell you some of the pitfalls about that as well. All right, as we go on. So what this game involves is I do... Uh, 5 by 20 grid. Now, I know that some of you are already having OCD issues because I've wiped over some of it and it's, you know, it's it's wiped some of it, it's not straight, all these kind of things. I'm sure that you can deal with it. So, I've done a 5 by 20 grid. Now, the reason why I've done it 5 by 20 is because we are using dice. Now, one of the stumbling blocks on it is that if you roll two sixes, you cannot go, okay? You cannot fit six along by six down, all right? So that's sort of why I made it five by 20, just to have that in their heads that, you know, if we've got five, five rows along and we want to do six by six, we can't do it. So the object of the game is basically to roll these two dice and then as we roll, we're, we're going to be covering an area okay so i'm gonna get in, straight into it to show you first and then i'm sure it'll make sense all right so as i roll the dice okay here we go i've got a five and a one okay so we were playing this i've got my board she's got her board this is really good and what they're going to do is we're going to go right well i've rolled a five and a one so it's going to be one down and five across but also mention that it could also be five down and just one across so i'm going to go for the five across so i just color in i shade in my little boxes five nice and neat lovely and what i also make sure is i have detailed the sum in there five times one and i ask the question well what is five times one and they might might go one two three four five or they might go it's five okay so the next roll of the dice this would be their turn but i'm taking my turn again so we have 
5 and 3. So you're going to be multiplying the two numbers together. So 5 times 3. I'm going to use a different coloured pen. Now, here, we're going to identify, okay, do you want to go 3 across and 5 down? Or do you want to go 5 across and 3 down? So I'm going to have it where I'm going to make them go 3 across, 5 down. I'm just doing that really quickly. All right. So, and then once again, they're going to be doing their sum. 5 times 3, okay? I'm going to say, what is 5 times 3? And they might be going, okay, 5, 10, 15. They might be doing that. They might be going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, they might be doing that. Okay. But either way, it's giving them an idea. So already at that time, I'm, I'm saying to them, okay, so is 5 times 3 bigger or smaller than 5 times 1? And they're like, oh, well, it's, oh, well, this is bigger, but that's, you know, we, we've got this, this concept and go, oh, well, maybe 5 times 3 is smaller than 5 times 1. And you're trying to think, you're like, oh, which way am I going to go? So if I then turn around and go, right, well, let's try and make them the same. And you rub out this. And you go, now, is 5 times 3 bigger or smaller than 5 times 1? And they start to understand, ah, 5 times 3 is bigger than 5 times 1. I'm going to roll my dice again. Okay, we've got a 6 and a 4. Okay, so I say, okay, so are you going to go 6 along? Are you going to go 6 down? And then go, oh, I'm going to go 6 along. Okay, okay, great. You go and try that. Okay, so 6 along. 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, there's only 5. I can't do 6 along. So does that mean I can't do it? No. Can you go 6 down? 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, I can. And we can go 4 along, can't we? Yeah. Can you fill that in for me? All right. Five, six, one. So they're all, they're colouring all of this in and they're bearing in mind that it's, oh, this is four times six. Now what that has left is it's left this here. Okay. Now it's, important because what's going to happen is we're going to fill all of this grid up and then it's going to get to the stage where maybe there's there's three left here there's a, a one times one down here and they have to you know it's really tricky to get down to that point uh sorry it's really tricky once you get to that point so you might um you might lose even though you've got most of it filled in you might actually lose because you're still waiting on on your roll of the dice now i want to before i carry on i want to point out something that um i didn't appreciate before um and it was actually when i was playing it with other kids um what happened was say for example they rolled two times four and they said well that's an eight so I can now go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But it, because to them, they're like, well, I know that that's eight. So I can, and I know that about eight, that I can structure that in any, in any form. You know, I can make it five, three. I can make it, you know, two, six. I can structure it in any form I want. That's what they did. And it didn't, it didn't hit me until it actually happened. I was like, oh, hold on a minute. They're not getting the concept that it has to be, you know, four along and six down. It has to be in those, you know, sort of arrays. So that was um, a learning curve for me. So say, for example, I'm now going to say, I've done four times six. I'm going to say they've done a lucky draw and they've done... Uh, five times six as well. So one, two, three, four, five, 
six, one, two, three, four, five. And obviously you can't go six along the way, you can only go six down the way. So five has to be along the way. And then I'm gonna, just to fi quickly fill this up, you can see how this can sort of take a little bit of time. We're gonna get uh, three times six, one, two, Three, four, five, six. Oh, exactly. Two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so ultimately we're left with this. Okay, so we're left like this and we're carrying on a game and we roll the dice and I go, okay, so can you do three times one? Three times one, can you go one along and three down or three along and one down? And they might look at this and they go, well, no, I can't because there's not three along. But then that's where you can point out, you know, oh, well, we can go one, two, three here. And I'll do this in green as well. One, two, three, so three times one, great. So now what I'm looking for is two times six, and a two times one, okay? And you, ha you ask these questions, what are you looking for? What, what are you hoping for? And they'll go, oh, well, now I'm looking to fill out these two boxes. I can quite e easily say that it's two along and I just count down that there's six, okay? So it makes it much, much easier. So when I get a dice, a roll like this and I go five times six, can I do five times six? And they're looking at their board and going, no, you can't do five times six. So it's at this point when they really realize, oh, no, oh, it's fallen. Um, maybe I can win or maybe I can't, you know, and their, fr and their excitement and their <laughs> frustration as they're, you know, they may win or they may not. But one of the most important things that I have taken from this is actually they understand. So I'm just going to. Uh, write them down, five times six, and this one was three times six. So if I said to them, well, what was the biggest roll on the board? What was the biggest roll that you got? Well, the biggest roll I got was five times six. It's very clear to them that they can see that there's a, a big area that's been filled in. So it starts to sort of make make sense as to what, what that all means, you know, if 5 times 6 is 30, then that's a bigger area than, say, 3 times 4, which is 12, and that's a much smaller area. And they can really visualise it. It's been really, really good um, for, uh, you know, for the wee people that I've been looking after. And for just for them to get that, that concept, if they haven't had it already, um, and this little person with dyscalculia, she has, I, I mean, I've been blown away with the progress that um, she is making. And actually, doing games like this, something that is engaging, something that um, is helping her focus, something that she's always, you know, doing something about it. She's either looking at what I've got or looking for the next thing that she's going to get um so that and that is part of the the gamification if you like but this has been just so useful and i think that if you were um to use that you know try it out see how you find it you know does it does it make a difference and i think also the the social distancing thing you know if you're having to do thing on things on video then that might help but I think one of the key things was, for me, it was a, a little light bulb moment, was that because some people have that um, natural ability to understand um, how the numbers fit together, they might not necessarily uh, think about it in arrays. And that's something that you've got to explain as well. So you've got to, you know, um, put that out there as well. So, But you don't know until you've actually tried it. Um, you can't think of every eventuality so um, that was a really good um, learning curve for me so hopefully um, that has helped um, as I've said I have tried where uh, we were getting tactile things I've tried where we've and we've got some 
uh, dice is actually, you know, I've found that it's been quite effective and getting that picture in their head. I've always tried to get a picture in their head. So if I've got four dice and each one has four on it, four times four is 16. And, and, and getting that in their head or, um, you know, I've got a, a three three cherry pies on three plates, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, three times three is nine. Um, and having that sort of getting the, the feeling, getting the, the visualization, getting a picture in their head, but also the fact that, you know, the, the biggest thing that they can get on this is five times six. Three, five, ten, six is 30. Right? That's the biggest thing that they can get on this section. And yes, of course, you can make it six. You can make it as big or as small as you like. But I found just having that initial hurdle and going, oh, well, we can't make it six across the way. But because we can get it six down the way, it's okay. You know, it doesn't feel, unless you roll a six times six, then, you know, that first roll, you're like, mm, we can't go. <laughs> but... Um, it's been really effective uh, for me and I just wanted to share it and hopefully that makes sense. Please let me know in the comments if you have tried this, if you have something else. Um, I'm always looking for new ideas and trying to share ideas. In the meantime, guys, have a great day in whatever you're doing and don't forget to be the best you can be. Bye.